Okay guys, I just got back from doing my normal Walmart grocery pickup. I also got a few things from Kroger you're gonna see, but I always go in Kroger to get my yogurts. I've mentioned that in prior weeks. I just prefer their yogurts. Um, and then I had a couple of specific coupons that I wanted to use in there. And then I knew that their Halloween stuff was 70% off and there was some specific placemats that I was hoping they would still have. And they did. So that's another reason I wanted to go in there. So I really only went in there for like six items. Um, but this is the haul for this week. And uh, let me go in and get started. So I got cat litter, which this is the kind I've been liking to use and I get that from Kroger. And then I needed some more cat chow for pepper. Some pop tarts. I got five cans of tuna. Y'all know we love our tuna. We're gonna have tuna fish sandwiches on croissants one night. And this was the free item at Kroger this week, these giant Hershey Kiss Deluxe things. And then I got the chicken tenderloins from Kroger because I had a really good coupon for those this week. Um, I also got some deli turkey from Kroger while I was there because I knew that that was going to be on sale this week. And then I got a few yogurts because I always get my yogurts from there. Uh, two cans of Italian diced tomatoes. Oh, and I had a coupon for a free small box of Pop-Tarts. And this is one of their new flavors, the Frosted Crush Orange. So, like I'm assuming this is supposed to taste like an orange soda. I don't know. I'm interested to try that out. It's pretty fattening, so I may only eat a bite of it let someone else eat the rest. Um, then I got my creamer and then I decided to try this for the kids variety pack of chips this week. I've not really bought these before but this is the variety Pringles um, and you get three different kinds in there so we'll see how they like that this week. And these are the placemats I've been talking about or that I was talking about a second ago. These are normally I got five of them. This would have normally cost me $15, and I got all five for $4.50. They were like 70% off, and they're spiderweb placemats. So how cute would that be to put like spiderweb placemats on the table and a really creepy centerpiece? So I'm definitely going to bring these out next Halloween. And I actually saw these earlier um, during the holiday Halloween season, but decided not to get them because I was hoping to get them when they went on sale. Because I'm not like a big Halloween, I mean, I love Halloween, it's probably my, one of my favorite holidays, but I don't have like really hardly any decoration for Halloween, if anything, so I'm trying to just to kind of slowly get into it. So I didn't want to spend a lot, so that's why I went back, hoping it'd be on sale. Sure enough, it was. I was pretty excited about that. Then I got some uh, five cheese garlic bread. I needed a regular loaf of bread. I got this um, Lipton savory herb with garlic soup and dip mix. Um, it's gonna be for a recipe that I'm trying this week. Um, I also got this bow tie pasta. That's for that new recipe I'm trying. I went on and got a gallon and a half of milk this week. Like I said, some weeks we just tend to go through a lot of milk for some reason. Um, got the Milo sweet tea that Dennis and uh, Andre like to drink. And then I got some more sliced Swiss cheese. I got two different kinds of snack cakes for the kids and Dennis this week. Um, I got some more of these Kashi gluten-free waffles this week. I'm just going for the original to try those. And then I got some shredded Parmesan cheese for my pasta recipe I'm trying this week. And I needed more garlic powder. I got a little three-pack box of my Butter Lover's popcorn. Of course, some more of my Fiber One 90-calorie brownies. Those are like for a dieter, those are great. And then of course some more protein bars. I got another one of my gluten-free burritos. I've been liking the um, veggies. I've been taking these practically every day to work. So I got two more boxes of Brussels sprouts and then two bags of the broccoli, cauliflower, and steamed carrots. Um, got some bananas, some more Hugs juice, two boxes of soda. We needed some more toilet paper. We needed more paper towels. Andre needed more shampoo. He likes using the Axe. And this is another one of the examples of the substitutions they do. I had paid and ordered a 12 ounce bottle. They were out, so they gave me the 22 ounce bottle for the same price as the 12 ounce bottle. So I'm loving that. Isaac needed some more um, facial cleansing pads. So I'm letting him try the Noxzema kind this week. And then I use the Neutrogena um, Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And this, um, this time I decided to try this. It's like a little 
plastic uh, container that holds them. So, you know, reusable. You can buy new pads every month and just set them in there. I guess it'll keep them from drying out. Mine don't ever dry out, but I thought that was kind of nifty. And I think that's everything for the week, guys. I spent about $105-ish at Walmart, and then I spent about 36 at Kroger. Something like that. So... That is my haul for this week. If y'all have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And once again this week, I will leave a link down below for y'all to go uh, check out the Walmart grocery pickup. And it will save you $10 off of your first order if you click that link. So I will just see you guys next week for the next one. Bye.